Hi, I'm Vespers, a music producer, performer, and Ableton Live certified trainer. And today, we're going to use Native Instruments Massive to create a wobble bass sound like this. So usually I don't reinvent the wheel when making YouTube videos, as there are a lot of other YouTube videos out there already on making wobble bass. However, in this case, I've actually had a lot of requests from my users about how I make the specific style of wobble bass that you've heard in some of my tracks. So in this case, I'm going to show you exactly what I do that may be a little bit different from some of the basic wobble basses out there. So we're starting with two basic tracks, an audio track containing a drum loop, and a MIDI track containing a MIDI clip that I've pre-programmed to run our Massive baseline. We're going to go over to the browser window and we're going to drag an instance of Massive onto the MIDI track. Massive will start out with this untitled sound which is basically one oscillator running and it's a basic oscillator. So what we're going to do first is Massive applies this envelope, envelope number four right here, to the amp which is the volume of Massive. And by default, it has an increasing and then decreasing volume. And we don't want that in this case. I want a nice, consistent, high volume bass patch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this envelope and raise the level so it stays at a nice, consistent, high volume. Now we're going to start tweaking our oscillators. As you can see, Massive has one, two, three oscillators built into it, which means these stack on top of each other and act as layers. And the more layers we have, the fatter our bass line will sound. It's just the same as layering percussion, kicks, snares, things like that. The more layers you have, the fatter the sound will be. So we're going to use all three oscillators in our Massive Wobble Bass Patch. The first oscillator we're going to start with is going to be the deep, low bass tone. It's a tone that is typically more felt than heard, but it's very important for bass on large systems. So we're going to start with a basic sine wave. So we select the sine square oscillator, and we're going to drag the wavetable position all the way to the left, which means that it will be 100% sine wave. As we can see, our amp is up. We're going to adjust our amp, or the volume of that oscillator, and we'll be able to hear it now. Now, if you're listening on laptop speakers or headphones that don't have large drivers, you won't even be able to hear this. Uh, typically, you can only hear this deep bass if you have uh, decent sized speakers or if you have a sub. So if you can't hear it, it's probably because of the speaker setup you have. Now we're going to move on to oscillator number two. Oscillator number two, we want to start to stack another layer on top, but this one's going to be a more audible layer. In this case, we're going to move to the Polysaw 1 oscillator and we're going to crank the wavetable position to about 50%. Now as you can see by default the amp is down on oscillators number 2 and 3 so we actually need to increase the amp to be able to hear it. Good. Now we're going to move to oscillator number 3. Oscillator number 3 is going to be the top base layer and it's going to be a layer that I'm going to stack at the very top of the patch. Now I'm going to choose a different oscillator here. In this case the drive 1. I'm going to increase the amp so we can hear it. However, I'm, because I want this to be the very top layer, I'm going to pitch it up and have it be up a full octave or 12 semitones above the other oscillators. Great. That's exactly the effect that I'm going for. So we have three oscillators stacked on top of each other right now. So in order to create a wobble bass line, we need to be using filters. In this case, both of our filters are active, and on filter number one, I'm going to choose a bandpass filter. Now again, it's important to note this section of Massive right here. This is telling it whether you want this, the filters to run in serial or parallel. And in this case, we want it all the way over to serial, because we want the filters to be running on the full signal. Now let's listen to how this filter sounds. We're going to increase the bandwidth of the filter. Good. We're hearing the filter sweep through nicely now. Now I'm going to add a second filter on top. 
In this case, I'm going to choose the daft filter. This section right here controls the mix between the two filters. If I put it all the way up here, it'll go entirely through the bandpass filter. And if I move it down here, it'll go entirely through the DAF filter. In this case, I'm going to leave it at about 50%. Now, in order to achieve the wobble bass sound that we're looking for, we need the filters to be moving. They need to be sweeping through the bass, creating that wobble sound. The way we do that is with a LFO. An LFO is a low frequency oscillator, that's what it stands for, and it's basically um, a way to automate a parameter within Massive using the set rate. So what we do, first of all, is we have to map it. The way you map things in Massive is you'll hover your mouse over top of this little plus sign here, and we drag it to the parameter that we want it to be automating. So we're dragging it over here to the cutoff of the two filters. And we simply click in this box, drag our mouse up, and this will show us the range in which the LFO is automating the filter cutoff. Now we can hear the filter sweeping through that bass line. One extra step that I take in making my wobble bass is that I actually have the LFO automate the amp on the oscillators as well, and I find that gives a um, different effect. It's interesting because what it's doing is increasing the volume with the LFO, is it gives this kind of uh, more of a feeling. It actually, you can feel the air moving out of the speakers with the pulsation of the LFO. It's a fact that I really like, so I'm going to be adding some LFO automation to all of the oscillators. You want to be pretty tame with the one on the bass, though, because you don't want it automating too much. You want the sub at a little bit more of a consistent level. Now we can take this one step further in that this LFO can be used to automate almost anything in Massive and we really want this because this synth has so much in the way of capabilities that you can modulate we really want to make the best use of this so another aspect of the oscillators that I like to modulate is I actually like to use the wavetable position and I'm just doing the wavetable position on the top two oscillators because I want the bottom oscillator the sine wave to stay consistent Let's listen to this. <laughs> 